All right, dextrose, widely available as a generic, so there's not really any trade names for it. Class, it is a simple carbohydrate, uh, rapidly increases serum glucose levels, and it can provide some short-term osmotic diuresis and pull fluid back into the vasculature from like interstitial fluid, but very short-term. And it also is a very short-term uh, raiser of glucose, if you will. It's a very simple carbohydrate, so it's very quickly metabolized by the body. Pregnancy class is C. Indications for it, hypoglycemia. That's really about it. Contraindications, intracranial hemorrhage is a relative contraindication. Uh, if you have somebody who you suspect of being a stroke, though you want to rule out hypoglycemia and make sure that's not part of their issue. If it is part of their issue, go ahead and give them a small dosage of dextrose and bring that blood sugar up into the normal range and that could help rule out other things that are going on. Adverse reactions, it is necrotic to tissue, so make sure you have a very good IV line whenever you're given that. Drug interactions, sodium bicarb, warfarin can cause some interactions, so if you have separate IV or whatever, that's possible. Dosage, standard adult dose, 25 grams, IV, IO, and it's typically diluted to a maximum of 50% concentration. That's the thickest that you can get. Pediatrics, 0.5 to 1 gram per kilogram, IV or IO, up to 25 grams. And with kids, you dilute it down even farther, and it's either a 10% or 25% solution. Onset's pretty much immediate. Peak effects immediately within just a couple minutes. Um, and it duration varies maybe 30 minutes, something like that. As soon as these people wake up, you know, that after they're, you've correct that issue and correct that altered meal status with given dextrose, make sure they're eating a good meal, getting some complex carbohydrates. Otherwise, their blood sugar is just going to tank again. Some special considerations. CVA patients, like we mentioned, need to make sure and rule out slash correct hypoglycemia first, and then make sure on the little kids that we're diluting down to a 10% solution just because their, their vasculature is so fragile. So mixing of it. Typical dosing or mixing of it, if you go buy an amp of D50, you get 25 grams of dextrose and 50 milliliters of water. Then your standard adult dose to get that 25 grams, you just give them the whole amp of it. You give them all 50 milliliters and that gives them that 25 grams of dosage. With D25, you get 25 grams of dextrose and 100 milliliters of water. So, in theory, you could dilute down uh, D50. If you bought D50, but you wanted a, a more diluted concentration, you could dilute it down by adding another 50 milliliters of water, and that gives you D25. And then with the kids, and then you can use it, you can use it for anybody, but a 10% solution, so you have 25 grams of dextrose and 250 milliliters of water, which gives you one gram of dextrose and 10 milliliters of water. Other way to look at that is 100 milligrams in one milliliter. So that's just kind of breaking down the dosages for you. The nice thing about D10 is it's best for all ages. You know, with if you're giving it to an adult, you just give them the whole the whole bag of it. Give them all 250 milliliters. And that equals 200, I'm sorry, it equals 25 grams of dextrose. If you're giving it to the, the kids, uh, you know, standard dosage, 0.5 grams per kilogram. So I threw an example in here. Say you're running a 15 kilogram child, uh, your, so your desired dose is going to equal 7.5 grams, you know, take 15 kilograms times 0.5 grams per kilogram, gives you a desired dose of 7.5 grams. Uh, and then you have your volume in your bag is a, or your concentration in your bag is one gram in every 10 milliliters. You multiply that times 7.5 grams equals 75 milliliters. So that child would receive 75 milliliters, which would equal 7.5 grams of dextrose. And that's going to be our overall dosage. Uh, that little box down there at the bottom has got it broken down a different way. Depends on how you learn medication administration. Uh, desired dose times volume, overdose on hand. So I wrote out that formula there in the middle box. 7.5 grams is our desired dose. Our volume 
is 10 milliliters, and our dose on hand would be one gram. It's like we talked about right here, one gram in 10 milliliters. It's the same right there. One gram of dextrose in 10 milliliters of water. That is, you just plug those numbers in here. 10 milliliters is our volume. Dose on hand is one gram. Do the math on it. 7.5 grams times 10 milliliters equals 75. And then you cross out the G's, they cancel each other out, and you're left with the ML, and it's 75 milliliters. Maybe not the best way to explain it, but hopefully I broke it down several different ways so you can kind of get the point across of the dosage on that. But overall, D10 is kind of the best all-around medicine, or best all-around concentration for all age groups with that.